These are freeze-dried black worms. I was just watching a video, an aquarium co-op video with uh, Corey and Dean, and he made this very cool feeder using a regular worm feeder and weighted it so it goes upside, it makes an upside down cone and sinks to the bottom of the tank to feed the fish at the bottom of the tank. And you don't end up getting your fingers wet. Well, I don't have that, so I end up getting my fingers wet. And this is how I do it. I take one of the cubes and I stick it in the tank. You can't just stick these in the water. I mean, you could, they'll float forever. And I push it up against the glass and push tight and it'll stick there. And it hydrates quickly that way too. And the fish uh, seem to find it right away. And I'll stick another one in here over at this end. And that way uh, they get to spread out. These little platies are just little orange piglets. They are aggressive little feeders. And the cribs get in there. Once it starts coming apart, the worms go everywhere. And uh, they all get some. Got the little, uh, em uh, I'm sorry, the little emperor tetras in here too. I think they're more interested in chasing each other around than they are going for the food, but whatever. These things have really grown. I got these from Coachella Valley Aquatics, and they are just spectacular. The little yellow stripe on the anal fin, and it looks like, I think I got it figured out. This is the part I got figured out with the Emperor Tetras. I'm thinking this is a male. If you can see in the tail, that long dart-like that comes out in the back of the tail, black stripe, but it's it's actually an extension in the center of his tail, whereas the females don't seem to have that. And that's my guess, male versus female, is the difference in the tail. But they are beautiful fish. And, and like I said in my previous reel, these come from Coachella Valley Aquatics in Indio, California. Um, and when you get there, say hi to Brandon and tell him Ron at Garage Aquatics 2023 sent you.